All right, so I've had the latest attempt at doing plates in here for a few days now. I upgraded it by putting some lamps under here to bring the temperature up a little bit since it's been cooler lately. You can kind of see it sandwiched in there. So now that it should all be done and I'll take it out and see if it blows up early. All right, here it is hooked up to the pressure tester. Uh, hopefully I'll be able to get it around here before it blows up. Let's find out. That one's working pretty good. Woo! Never mind. <laughs> um, but it failed a little higher than I was looking for, so that actually might be a winning winning design. Let's wait and see what we got. Yep. split open all the way along here. Well, all the way along here, actually, that's not bad. Because this, this whole edge is the, really the thinnest part. So I guess if it blew up here, that's kind of expected, so I must have done something right. I think that's good enough. More pressure than this will really realistically see, except for right at the inlet with the pump on full blast. Kind of sucks that I'll have to repair this one, but all right, well, yep, I I guess I'll get to producing these for real after that. All right, I've pulled apart the failed plate. Um, I was hoping to pull off just the side that failed, but it ended up being that both of them peeled off. You can see that in almost all spots, including along here where it failed, in most places, oh, sorry, that's having trouble exposing. You can see that in just about everywhere, it was the, that the glue was sticking better to the HGP than the aluminum again. Um, you can also see the between space here. I'm not really sure why that's all discolored and gross like that, but I don't think I actually ended up running any water through this plate. Maybe it was damp? I don't really know. I don't really get why that happened. Maybe that's off-gassing from the adhesive. Um, but regardless, it did pretty well. All the floating parts are still stuck to the one side here, so that's nice. So I'll get to removing the leftover glue from the HDP and stick this back together and should be good enough to use in the car. So here we have the driver's side rear brake lines more or less mocked into place. So we've got a an M10 union here. This is the this is the factory line going up to the front union and then this is a line we just made and that goes around the back there and then goes into here, which is the Tesla line. And then that goes into the Tesla brakes. This bracket came with the Tesla line and for now it's tacked onto there. Um, we'll work out how to support with some sort of clip up here. <laughs> 